The Football League is always looking to expand its audience. Last night, fans in Toronto had an opportunity to see NFL football live for the first time at Skydome. The matchup featured the Cleveland Browns against the New England Patriots. Yuck, not exactly teams in the upper echelon of the NFL, yet it was the largest crowd to take in a football game at Skydome this season. Preparations for the match began Thursday evening when Skydome was converted from a baseball field to an NFL football field, which is considerably smaller than the field CFL teams play on. The teams arrived the following day. Friday afternoon, the Cleveland Browns practiced at Skydome. Eric Metcalf, whose father Terry starred in the CFL with the Argos, spoke about the possibility of the NFL coming to Toronto. It could be a step in time, I mean, you never know. I mean, they already have Canadian football up here in I don't know as to whether people are content with that or not, but uh, NFL football is exciting, and maybe people go to love it and, and want it up here. Former NFL running back Jim Brown was honorary captain for Cleveland. He'd like to see the NFL set up a team here. You already have uh, a World Series champion in baseball. It would seem natural that uh, you would be have uh, top football here. Not that the CFL wasn't good football, but, you know, we do think NFL is the best in the world. To help sell this dreadful matchup, there was a kickoff party Saturday afternoon at Skydome featuring live music, the barbecue, and beer gardens. It wasn't exactly the traditional American-style tailgate party, but this being Ontario, it was the best promoters could manage. The game itself was a low-scoring yawner. In sharp contrast to the CFL, there were no touchdowns. For the record, Cleveland won this mess 12-9. If the game was indeed meant to test the waters in Toronto, Cleveland and New England may have done the CFL a favor. If that's what NFL football has to offer, Canadians likely won't buy it. On the other hand, it may be difficult to compare the NFL to the CFL based on this particular game. While the NFL boasts bigger players, higher salaries, and lots more hype, the CFL is more dynamic and higher scoring with lots more opportunities to cheer about something, at least based on last night's game. Perhaps a match between the Buffalo Bills and the AFC rival Miami Dolphins would have been a better acid test. The game, though, raises the age-old question, could the NFL fly in Toronto? More than 30,000 people paid up to $45 a ticket to take in the non-action last night. If the NFL could draw that many fans for a meaningless exhibition match between two of the NFL's weaker teams, they'd likely fare much better if they put a quality product on the Skydome field. The average attendance for Argos games this year has been under 28,000. If and when the NFL expands north of the border, Toronto would be the likely place they'd want to set up a team. But if Toronto, with a CFL team, was granted an NFL franchise, well, that's another story for another time.